you a very good morning this is sam from kehan audio again so today we're gonna go ahead and try to install a hg unit on chrysler 300 2012 so to do that all you need to have is a plastic panel remote tool and a phillips head screwdriver let's get started Alrighty, let's get started by taking off this trim here which is just held by clips panel remote tool edge into the gap here and just try to pry it When you do that, there's a plug at the back. You just have to press this little clip here. Carefully take that out. And now we can pull the unit out slowly. Okay, just have to press this little pin here to take this plug out. to unclip it few plugs that you have to take them out that's one that's two that's three right now, so next we have to take these two air vents out and the actual clock which is in the center we're going to transfer all these three things onto the new fascia so you know to take the air vent out just have to pull these clips outside a little bit there we go it's easy did the same another thing as well Ready. so in order to take out these three screws here you need to have a four mil socket which is also rare to find but i managed to find one This is how you transfer the clock, it aligns to the same um, position of the factory unit, nice and neat. We've done uh, screwing the clock in, let's go ahead and put the air vents on. So we should exactly match the same pattern as the factory one that we took off from. There we go. Alrighty, we're gonna put the power cables on now, so this is this plug which is a bit rectangular here. Here's the main power plug. You just have to push it in until you hear the click sound. And next you got is the um, reverse camera plug, which leads in that spot here. And next you got two RCAs, just in case if you're using aftermarket 7 and amp, this is what you need to connect it. for the reversing sound so the reverse sensor sound I 
ready guys we just start to plug the unit in so uh, one of the most important things is to get the gps reception point be strong enough to hold it so make sure the cable wouldn't be obstructing the uh, air vent so it's gonna you're gonna buckle wire it so facing the other way so there are mainly two plugs that we have to plug in for the air main power which is this white one here and this gray cable right here which goes with this black cable here there we go and this is the reverse camera output so we just have to connect it to the same cable which says rear camera in so we're just gonna have to join these two together and tape it I guess this is the radio antenna here and there's just one plug that you have to connect it and one more to the clock there you go you got the unit 